Hey, welcome back here, Nate Barger. Make sure that you uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, we need to get one of them things, a cowbell over here. Um, and, and we'll make sure you get notified of all the videos. And please like the videos, leave comments below. Uh, if you agree or disagree, um, I want to make sure that you understand. I know I'm moving quickly for a lot of you guys, but um, I want you to get this quick. So go back and watch the video. Make sure you share it with a friend and join our BRRRR Invest Group on Facebook. I also have Apartment Investing Secrets on Facebook. A lot of free information. Great people on there. So let's get started. This video here, we're going to call it, this video series is going to be called The Million Dollar Mistake. It's one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they get into real estate. I I don't know if I really made it myself um, a lot. I did a little bit, but not vastly. So it's actually going to break these numbers down for you guys. I want you to get your calculator. I want you to get your pen and paper. It's really a two and a half million dollar mistake, but we're going to show you by the end of this, you'll see. So a lot of people, everybody uh, comes to me and say, hey, Nate, I want to flip property. I want to flip property. I want to flip property. And all I hear when they say that is uh, I want to work really hard and take what I've worked for and sell it off for a predetermined set amount of money. And um, that's not how you really accumulate wealth. But I'm going to show you step by step so you know what decisions to make. And sometimes the best decision is to uh, sell and not buy and hold. But these this series of videos, I think we got five parts, is going to show you which one you should do and why you should do it. Because you never want to go in with your emotions um, and decide on when you, why you want to do something without knowing the numbers. Now, if you know the numbers, you can let your emotions play into it. So here it goes, guy. Um, your average house that we look for in the Midwest, something you're going to have $80,000 is going to be acquisition. It could be $100,000. And if it's $80,000, you're going to have $40,000 in renovation. If it's $100,000, you're going to have $20,000. Either way, you're going to end up at about $120,000 in this property and it's going to be worth maybe let's say 160 grand. So you're going to market it at 160. It's probably going to sell at 98% of list prices, right around 157 to 158. Um, you're going to have to pay your realtor $9,000 or about 6%. It's going to take you down to 148. Then you're going to have another couple thousand dollars, and three thousand dollars, call it, in uh, home warranty. And uh, seller paid closing costs and additional holding costs Why it's on the market. Where if you were to rent it, it would have probably rented it pretty quick. So you're going to walk away with about $145,000. You had one twenty dollars in it. You make twenty five grand. It's great. So <clears throat> you make $25,000 off this property um, that you probably learned a lot on and you made, made a lot of connections and you're eager to looking forward to do your next property, but you didn't really grow your net worth uh, other than you grew up by 25 grand. So you sold all your time off for a predetermined set amount of money. So we're going to show you in this series of videos, what is the highest and best use of your time and the properties too, uh, quite honestly. So in that scenario there, you got $25,000, it's going to be short-term capital gain. And on short-term capital gain right now, you're going to pay, I believe it's ordinary income, whatever your ordinary income level is. So let's say that's 30%. 30% of 25000 is $7,500. So you're going to make $17,500 after taxes. But I want you to look at the big picture. Not how much you're making, but what you could have done different to scale and not only just started a, uh, you know, a, a real estate company where you're owning a massive amount of real estate, you'll never get there when you're selling off uh, every deal you do. You'll make money, but really what it comes down to is you start to do it and it starts to just be a job. Somebody else is going to benefit off of that, especially in this climate we're in where you have really, really cheap debt right now and you can lock in a really cheap uh, long-term debt. So the big picture is, what if you would have done 30 of them? And I know you say, hey, that's impossible. I can't do that. I've never done one. That's okay. And a lot, of, a lot of people that have already done them will tell you that, yes, once you overcome that first one, you are ready to hit the ground running and do two more. But let's just say the first year you did two. And then the next year you stepped it up. You did four. Then you did six. Then you did eight. Then you did 10. So 
by year five, that would have been a total of 30 of these properties. Two the first year, four, second, uh, six, the third, eight, the fourth, and 10 the fifth year. Um, you would have made a total of $750,000 over five years. After taxes, you would have walked away with $525,000. But you would have had to go back after that and you would have had to find another deal to do because you can't retire off $525,000 and you probably spent most of that money. Um, hopefully you reinvested it, but by this time, you're probably becoming a full-time renovator. So you probably quit your job. You got eight or 10 a year you're doing. It's a full-time grind. It's a full-time hustle. And what's on the horizon? 12 next year with no passive income. So we're going to show you what would have happened if you would have held on to these same 30 properties over five years. What your passive income would have been, how much taxes you would have had to pay, how you would have been able to extract capital back out of them, and how much your net worth would have been year five. So make sure you tune in for part two. Make sure you subscribe to my page, Nate Barger, on YouTube. Part two is going to blow your mind. And part three, we're going to break down and analyze the two together. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you share this on your page. We want to get out here. By 2025, we want to make 2025 millionaires. Really, we want to make more than that. But... We just want to tell you that that's a marketing gimmick. That's how many we want to really do. So how many we really want to do is 2 million in 25, right? Probably even more than that. So guys, I know all this is overwhelming and it's a lot to digest, but I'm telling you that if you too can just follow these simple processes and it's free information, it's free. I don't have anything to sell you, you know, unless you want to buy, I don't know. You know, I, I got a Bentley I can sell you. I got a Toyota I can sell you. I don't have anything to sell you. I just want you to win. I want you to learn. Look, I even got two iPhones. Look, I got junk. But I don't really have anything to sell you yet. But I will come out with some stuff for you guys. I just want you guys to um, dive into this next video with your pen and paper because it's going to be uh, a little bit more in-depth. So um, see you guys in part two.